the park we are staying here, you can literally drive right out onto the beach. Now I'm gonna hold that angle and then in a minute I'm gonna swing it back the other way. Oh, look, look. So what do you think about our experience so far in Hannah Park? This, this was an adventure. Cash only, credit and cash. I think this is the day area. Victorian flags. I wonder if I'm in the wrong spot. I don't know, but just uh, maybe just pull up a little bit, just up a little bit where people can still go around you. Yeah, stop. I got like three cars behind me. All right, can you pull up past the stop sign? It's park entrance, park hours. All campers must be in the park by 11 p.m., so this is it. Okay, so I'm supposed to go through these gates. <laughs> Hi there. Fisher. Have you camped with us before? Uh, no, I've not. Can you hang that somewhere on the camper? Anywhere visible? This okay. one is the one that you're hanging on the rear view. Back in or a pull through site? It's gonna be back in. Back in? Come okay, on. thank Thanks. you. It squirts out. <laughs> okay, I'll anticipate. Yeah, that. so you see, right, you're filling in. Right here is like an overflow, oh. right there. And so you can hear the air coming out of that, and the water comes squirting out of there when it's full. Yep, and there's a third one now, too. We're gonna leave this truck around us, so wait. Okey dokes. Hey, they're shooting in, so you're gonna go. It's gonna cut too much, there's a pole. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the truck. The truck's gonna hit a pole, I think. Okay. Hang on. There's a jeep. All right, go ahead. You're just about to the tires by the pole. Okay. Are you going to wait for the camper to go by? Yes, because they're not going to wait for me. at the great chief. I didn't know which way he was going. There's a car coming too. Do you want me to wave him around? Never mind, they're turning in. Go ahead. I'm really nervous about that pole on the passenger side. It's okay. I thought it was going to get closer to it. 
because I can't see it in the flat mirror anymore. I am watching it. You have to trust me. But now I've got three cars I need to go by. Yep, wait for those. And then if I have to, I'll pull forward. I agree. Is that about the angle we want? Let me walk to the other side. Yeah, we've got lots of yard over here. Um, other than probably you want to pull a little more forward for level because it's kind of up on a hill. This is crazy, this site, because it's I got a back end on the blind side. I can't see what's going on, and it's probably one of the most difficult um, parking situations we've had since we've had the Airstream. But this is why you have a spotter, and this is why you do this stuff. Um, I think I think we've got our spot. Didn't know this was such a busy place, but it's a gorgeous piece of real estate here. This is the Beach Lane app I've been trying out for the leveling. I really like the graphics that are on this. A little more clear than the Levelmate Pro. So Michelle's getting all the, the Beach Lane levelers set up, the little rocker levelers that we're going to pull forward on and get ourselves all set. They're in place. Perfect. I'm going to pull forward. Well, it says we're still a quarter inch um, low on that side, but that may be where we need to be. Do I have any more I can pull forward? I don't think so. Like I said, it sunk right in, and I think if you go any more, it'll roll right off. All right, I'm gonna call that good. We're a quarter inch low on the passenger side, but uh, we can deal with that. I think we can live with it. So the screen is black on the camera. Hopefully we've got us both in here, but uh, we're doing an after breakfast walk along the beach. It's really windy today. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cold per se. It's just, what is it, like 60 degrees? It's about 60 out here, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's just really strong winds. The sun is really warm. Yes, it's beautiful. It's early March here at, uh, what is it, Huguenot? Memorial Park, yeah. did I pronounce that? It's a place we're staying here for just a few days and where initially it was just to be some rest and relaxation, but we found the park to be so beautiful that we're doing some, a uh, little bit of vlogging here, some kind of a, some kind of something. This is a key too. Uh, we're out on a key, so what, it's like a little notch island. One side of the campground is the Atlantic Ocean and the other side is um, I think it's the St. John's River. I'll have to verify that. We'll check, we'll check on that for sure. But uh, yeah, we're just about to keep walking up here and seeing what we see. can see there's dunes all around us and they're protected. The sign right there says sea oats protected. So what's growing on it um, is protected so you can't go on them. There's a huge fine if you do. And then they do have in the summer months a lifeguard that is on duty. That sure looks for kitty. <laughs> Doesn't look very safe.
one of the things about this park that you should know is it is right by a naval base. In fact, you can see some of the Navy ships right behind us over there. And so there is quite a bit of helicopter traffic. And because of the naval base and the helicopter traffic, this is a no drone zone. Yeah. So it's really pretty here. It's prettier than we anticipated. And I'd want to get some drone footage of the Airstream and where we are, but I can't. After three quarters of a mile, keep right to take exit 48 towards SR 10 A's. Follow the road for two miles. Fisher. costs four times as much for shoes that way. Yes, it does, but you need to decide where you want it level, pull forward or back up. We're gonna back up on the levelers. We're level right there. The city of Jacksonville, Florida has two campgrounds in their park system. While both are on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, the two parks couldn't be any more different. North of the St. Johns River, Huguenot Campground is sandy and open with plenty of sunshine, scattered palm trees, and easy beach access. Catherine Abbey Hanna Park is south of the St. Johns River. This campground is densely wooded with lots of shade and privacy. Campground reservations can easily be made from the jacksonville.gov website. Just south of Hanna Park is the resort area of Atlantic and Neptune Beach. at Ocean Center in Florida, which is like the middle point between Atlantic Beach 
and Neptune Beach, which are along the Atlantic coast of Florida. Right, and right in Jackson, Jacksonville. Yeah, just, just east, yep. And just so you know, if you come into this area, you're gonna need a parking app and it's Flowbird, which was a new one to us. So I downloaded it okay. and was able to pay for parking while we're here. I think we need to go scout out some lunch. Yeah, let's go find something and shop around and see what's here. And we'll bring you guys along. Atlantic and Neptune Beach has lots of quaint shops and restaurants. We chose to lunch at Poe's Tavern. Highly recommended and Airstreamer approved. After spending the day in Atlantic and Neptune Beach, we headed to a friend's house for dinner and a sunset boat cruise with their seafaring dog, Lizzie. One unusual thing about the sites here at Catherine Abbey Hannah Park is the sewer setup, how they're set up. They are full hookup sites, but Look at this, look at this behind me. They've got these really unusual 90 degree bends right here. And I had to do some crazy configuring to get our sewer line to hook up. Hannah Park boasts four miles of hiking trails and over 13 miles of bike trails. The direction of the bike trails changes daily, so be sure to pay attention to the signs. There's also a splendid boardwalk trail to a large white sand beach on the Atlantic Ocean. The large camp store has plenty of camping supplies and even offers bicycle and kayak rentals. Today's moving day and I'm assessing our site right here to see which way is gonna be the best way to go out. The Airstream is angled to the left, so theoretically we should hook up the truck and head down the road that way. But then there's a lot of low branches and narrow road to go over. We've driven that a few times. Michelle had the idea that we should actually hook up and turn right to come out of our site. It's kind of against the angle a little bit, a little concerned about the back end swinging around and maybe catching one of the trees, but we'll watch that close. But it gives us a much shorter exit out to the main road here at Hanna Campground. Hot summer morning into little day. It was a hot summer morning into middle of the day. Don't feel like working, don't care what boss man says. Our next stop is going to be a boondocking site, so I've got to fill up our freshwater tank to make sure we have water where we're going. We won't even have the ability to take on water at our boondocking site. There ain't no way. If I change my ways, but old habits stay die hard. Almost forgot to plug in the TPMS. That's why the list is important. Hot summer morning into middle of the day. I'm gonna stay on this side and watch the back. Okay. It was a hot summer morning into middle of the day. The sun be so hot. I watch my love melt away. All right. Truck's in mud, isn't it? 
Yeah, he's got four wheel drive. He's on a big rock. See that? What's going on? He's going to hit his bumper. All right, you can hop back in the truck. It looks like we're going to be able to go in about two minutes here. So what do you think about our experience so far in Hannah Park? This, this was an adventure trying to get out. So yeah, we should take our shot while we have it. I think so. Let's go. Hot summer morning into middle of the day. It was a hot summer morning into middle of the day. The sun be so hot, I watch my love melt away. Oh yeah, say goodbye, I'm gone, solid.